So recently I've been talking about quite a few different anime. There's a lot of new anime coming out in this spring 2019 season, but there's a series from the last season that I believe is still being carried over, if I'm not mistaken. And this series right here got me the most excited. I'll tell you right now, like out of everything that I've watched this year so far, this one is the one that, at the very least, my first impression after the first episode Yo, I've watched the first two episodes, in fact, and I gotta just say, I, I just wanted to talk about it. I know there's more episodes, there's probably like 13 episodes in or something like that, but I don't care. This series is absolute fire, and yeah, I'm I'm gonna uh, t uh, talk about it. Doro ro ro or do ro ro I think it's do ro ro uh, Yeah, something like that, but it, it's fire, trust me. You never gonna fly, even if you try, you never gonna ride. Gotta keep your head up, even if you cry. That's just one more reason to try, reason to try. So you can definitely see that it was uh intended for shock value at the very least in the beginning and i'm talking about even probably from the source material again i haven't touched the source material but i could tell you right now that it was very shocking because it starts off a story of it seems as though this man and this woman they were trying to have a child he's seemingly of some royalty and he's trying to have that child you know to pass down his name but this child is born without eyes without ears without limbs this child was you know was dealt a bad hand you know what i mean so immediately you're like whoa but one of the things that i appreciated and and i love that fact was that you could tell the mom didn't care at all she loved that child even though the baby was born all like that all those problems the mother still loved the child the father had a problem so i was looking at it i was like yo this is some powerful stuff this is powerful i don't know exactly what was going on in the world at the time that uh, the creator wrote this but this is very powerful and again the shocking factor of it all that the father was like just away with it don't worry i'll have my child one day my, my real offspring." i'm like damn this is some foul ass stuff then the vibe of just this demonic feel i will tell you right now that this series if it gives me any vibes it's like a dark roroni kenshin berserk offspring and maybe in fact actually they're probably both inspired somewhat at the very least maybe berserk i'm not sure kenshin it's like a samurai series you know again kenshin gives me that uh, vibe and i don't know and maybe it's also because kenshin's catchphrase is oro oro and it sounds like dororo or whatever but uh it, it gives me that vibe where at the end of the day two of the characters based on by the end of the first episode that you get and i think it was the beginning of the second episode because i started even watching the second episode i was like i'm only gonna watch episode one to talk about this but i couldn't help myself but it gives me that vibe of like you know how in berserk you got guts main character and then he's walking around with the little boy and, and stuff like that that's how it felt but just even more demonic to a certain degree and maybe more eerie feeling because it feels more realistic in berserk you have like just these demons and everything and maybe it'll get to that but uh, at the very least in the first episode is like a mixture of just weird shit like the old lady sending him down the river and trying to give him a chance and then the demons and, and the guy in the swamp walking around i was just like i'm not gonna lie i was mind blown at how eerie like if they were trying to make this some horror samurai twisted demonic thing they worked but also it succeeded in really freaking me out to the point of like i gotta watch more and i did because you get the fast forwarding of 16 years and we see that seemingly, uh, based on my hunch anyway, uh, we get this main character anyway that is like, he has a porcelain mask, you know, he has a fake face, so to speak, everything is fake about him, so I'm assuming, okay, that's probably 16 years later, that's that baby all grown up, and he looks like a psychotic samurai vagabond, hey! But then, of course, we got that little kid, Dororo, that's like, hustling out there, and they kind of cross paths, and immediately I'm thinking, based on my speculation, again, I don't know, Maybe Dororo is the brother, the younger brother of this guy. The sibling that actually succeeded in becoming the heir of some sort. But maybe he was thrown out as well. Maybe he ran away. Something there. I don't know, but I, I, I'm definitely getting that vibe. Because it seems as though they look similar. Except he has like that fake face. And then it gets even more twisted when they start adding an extra revelation. Because by the end of the episode, it turns from, hey, we got this... uh crazed guy that you know he was born with a really messed up situation again but now he's walking around with a fake face and everything how did he survive getting down like there's so many questions i have about this guy how the hell did he survive if he was a kid like somebody had to pick him up and raise him and and teach him these things but then you get the supernatural elements as well which is really cool and stuff that i like when you could blend something that feels real but then also throw supernatural elements in it and make it feel like yo it still feels real that's really good and i like the word real a lot apparently maybe that makes me a real mother the end of the first episode he gets 
a real face seemingly. His face starts growing in or something like that. So I'm imagining that's something to do with possibly when he vanquishes enemies or maybe when demons are, are vanquished. Something along the lines of that. I'm just starting to grasp at straws just based off the first episode and maybe a bit of the second episode that I saw. But it's like, whoa! Because in this first episode, it accomplished incredible world building i'm so interested and fascinated by this dark and demonic samurai vagabond world of like there's demons and creatures there's messed up kings that will or well royalty that he got rid of his kid not giving a rat's ass because he won't well again was he royalty uh, it, it was a few days ago that i watched it but i'm pretty sure he was of some nobility that he wanted him to pass on and carry on the family legacy so you know we get that bad upbringing that's a really messed up start which makes for a great tragic hero which i think dororo is more than likely going to be a tragic story it seems as though it's all about tragedy and uh possibly this is him the older brother still looking out even though the little brother succeeded him in a sense and maybe he's coming back to protect his little brother again that's my speculations and theories i don't know maybe this is something totally different i, I don't know i'm, I'm mine still after the first episode i'm like wow and yeah i think that again this direction is something that for my age demographic i am just loving about anime now that is giving such dark gritty vibes this one i don't know it has to be on tv over there because it's a tv anime but i'm surprised they're letting this fly it feels really dark and gritty and i'm imagining if it feels dark and gritty the manga is probably even darker and grittier but some people have been pro having problems with reading the manga because again it's really old this is a very old series from a legendary creator but Man, based on that first episode, this looks like Dororo is going to be probably one of my favorites of the year. And again, it's not new to spring. There's about 13 episodes. But what I saw with that first episode, that was incredible. And I'm like, yes, this is what I've been waiting for. Something like last year, Devil Man Cry Baby kind of blew me away. This is blowing me away as well. Dororo. But I'm kind of curious. First of all, any manga readers out there at all that could tell me if this continues to be as crazy or as insane later on throughout the series. For people that are caught up, should I continue catching up? Is it still as hype as the first couple of episodes? I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I have so many questions right now about this and the main character the little kid or the demons or the demonic presence around everything uh yeah and if you haven't checked out Dororo I highly recommend this is one that you could go and say Fenev put you on to this because this shit right here if you haven't heard of it it's fire I saw at least the first episode I can vouch for the rest first episode and probably second episode I can't I was tired of shit when I saw it but yeah they were both pretty damn good and your overall thoughts honestly Dororo looking freaking fire I might talk about this one again maybe I'll do a midway through and then a final wrap up of it but regardless this series right here got me really excited again what Devil Man Cry Baby did for me last year this is doing for me this year this is hype this is awesome and I can't wait to see more, baby. This is looking fire. But that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Please hit that bell to get all notifications. I don't even know where that bell is anymore, but hit that bell. If you want to follow any of my other social media, of course, links in the description below. I'm for Neverworld, and as always, people, have an awesome day. And remember the golden rule, anime and manga. For life, boy. Bow. Have an awesome day. Can't forget the music, though. Hold on. Here, let, let me play you something real quick. It's coming.